44 West. We're on day three of our adventure. Just leaving the casino RV park in Joplin, Missouri. Yeah, it was Down River Casino. They have a RV park there that's a little bit more than a parking lot, but they do have water and electric hookups. But it's very unlevel. Yes. I think they're sloping, sloping downhill all night. Our original plan was to stay at Bass Pro Shop in uh, uh, Springfield. Right. Missouri. Didn't know that that was actually the um, flagship flagship store, actually the original store. It's huge. It's like a block big. I'll show you some pictures we took of it. Um, but they don't allow overnight parking. And it was kind of in the city anyway, so it probably would have been the best spot to spend the night. Right. And the, the parking lot was, you know, we happened to find a shot that, or a spot that was, a, you know, a little darker than others, but it was very well lit but about 9 o'clock when the store was closing, the security said that, came by and said that there's no overnight parking, so we left. So we left. Today we're back on the road. We just crossed the state line into Oklahoma. Randy plans on getting off the expressway today to go up onto Route 66. And we will stop along the way should we see anything interesting to look at. Yeah, it looks like you can get off at Miami, Oklahoma, which would be the first stop up here, and from there head over and catch Route 66, to at least some of it will parallel um, the I-44 that we're on right now. Took a little break and stopped here at the Route 66 Nut House. Um, just a little gift shop, and you know they've got nuts and they got a little deli you can get a sandwich or whatever you want. So we took a quick little stop here, you know, let the dogs out and kind of shopped around, bought a, bought a couple of little trinkets, some magnets, or the refrigerator. So we got at least a Route 66 magnet for our trip. And now we're about ready to get back on the mother road and keep heading west so we'll catch up with you on the next stop I guess. This is the Blue Whale in Katosa, Oklahoma. It was built in the early 70s as an anniversary gift. The Blue Whale turned into a swing park that eventually closed in 1988. It's all made out of concrete and steel. If I read the story correctly on the uh, internet, this was built by a father for his kids originally in the 70s. It's a place for them to go swimming. It became a roadside attraction and then eventually, uh, you know, a local swimming place, but now they no longer allow swimming. Breathing out and breathing in, constellation. 
So this is the Rock Cafe, and it was the inspiration for some of the characters in Cars movie. Um, Sally, the, the character from Cars, was inspired by the owner. What town are we in? Stroud, Oklahoma. Stroud, okay. Welcome to Elk City, Oklahoma. We got here, we pulled out the expressway probably about six o'clock and we are heading towards a free campground that was about 45 miles from here, but I didn't have enough gas to make it all the way there. I had enough gas to make it all the way. I didn't think I had enough gas to make it there and back to the next gas station. And we had driven about 25 miles towards it and did not see any gas station. So I was a little uncomfortable about that. And so we turned around and we came back and there happened to be a campground right at the exit of the expressway called Elk Run, which we're at now. And we pulled in here for the night and it wasn't bad. It was 25 bucks, full hookups with Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi wasn't too bad. So nice to have a little Wi-Fi for a change and instead of trying to work off of our cellular data. Um, Love's uh, truck stop is right there on the corner. So we'll head over there first thing and get gas before we head out uh, and continue our ride. Yesterday was, was a lot of fun. We, we worked our way along Route 66 and stayed off of Interstate 44, which was nice not to drive on the interstate. We got to see some of the sites. We used the interstate to get around the larger cities like Tulsa and Oklahoma City. And then the afternoon, because time-wise, I had actually kind of chose a little bit too much driving distance for one day. We ended up uh, jumping back on I-40 and and taking the last you know 200 miles here on i-40 and didn't go along that much of route 66 so it was uh i don't know i guess i learned that you really don't want to try to overdrive how much you want to you know, take on each day and that um you know maybe 200 miles is a better number so that's kind of the number we're going to look at today we've got a couple places in mind that we're going to try to stay at hopefully they work out and if they do, um, they'll be kind of interesting. But again, we're going to get off the main interstate and travel along uh, Route 66 because the Texas section looks to be pretty interesting. There's a lot of things to see, like the Calic Ranch and you know some other sites along there. So we're going to try to hit those up. You know, try not to drive quite as much a day, between two and three hundred, depending on where we stay. And then we will, you know, move into New Mexico for tomorrow. So it should be a fun day. Uh, we enjoyed yesterday, so today should be a lot of fun too.
iconic Route 66. The distinctive tower building was one of the many commercial buildings elected in early 30s along the U.S. Route 66. Originally was a diner and a gas station. Gift shops closed today, Sunday. Do drop in restaurant. Classic truck. Here's an interesting contrast of the old and the new Tesla parking or Tesla charge stations. Route 66, Texas. No, it's no longer a working cafe, it's more of a museum. The old booths. Auto laundry. Pumps on each side. This is where the guys with the white shirts and hats would jump out and service your car. Check your oil, wash your windshield. Even the dumpsters are themed. Spinning Jenny's House of Music. Rusty's on 66 Pizza. So stopped here to get gas. How much is it a gallon here? 19 cents. That's the cheapest we've seen gas all on the whole trip. Look at the, the old service rack. You drive the car right up on there. The mechanic could be able to crawl underneath and do oil changes. They'd pump this, and that's how they would dispense oil. So if you need a quart of oil, that's how you'd get it. First Phillips 66 station in the state of Texas. First restored station on Route 66, built and leased to Phillips in 1929. Here's the old truck. The Ten Commandments. You know, there was originally 15, but apparently Moses dropped one of the tablets. Leave a note in the comments if you know what movie that's from. So this is Groom, Texas, another stop on Route 66 through Texas. 
And this is the Britain Water Tower that is a little bit of a landmark. What's interesting about this water tower from what I read on the internet is that it originally wasn't here. It was moved here and it was actually installed in the leaning position because it was leaning in the previous location. I don't know if that's all true or not, but that's what I read. It's really just that pipe in the middle that's holding it there. If you walk up to it, you can see the back legs here are right off the ground. It's not going anywhere. So that's the, the Britain Water Tower in Groom, Texas. Another iconic stop along Route 66 as we continue our journey west. Kind of cool. It's just one of those things, as you travel along, you gotta stop and check it out. What's sort of interesting about Route 66 along uh, Interstate 40 is it's really on and off of Interstate 40. It's not like Oklahoma where you can just drive along Route 66. You can, but there's really not a lot to see and everything's kind of closer to the exit. So make your trip that way, I guess. Hey, hey. Yeah. What people put on them. 
amazing how thick the paint is on them. Really? Yep. So yeah. Yeah, if you're driving through on the highway through Amarillo, be and sure to stop. Interstate 40, make a stop. Midpoint on Route 66. Well, not for us, but it is the midpoint. From here, you're 1,139 miles to Los Angeles and 1,139 miles to Chicago. I'm halfway there, to wherever that is. <laughs> we have made it to today's destination. Where that is, we're going to save until the next video. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed this little drive through Texas on Route 66, um, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel. And leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. If, what's your favorite place on Route 66 that you've been to or where do you want to go visit at some time? And until the next time, take care everybody. We'll see you down the road. Bye.